here to talk and discuss about the Department of Health and Human Services of the United States. Hello, I'm Sadie. We are just going to jump right in with the news story of the theft that directly affects the Department of Health and Human Services. Gracie. I'm joining with me Angela Munikichi, who spokesperson of the Department of Community Health and the young man whose laptop was stolen. This young man's laptop, along with a flash drive, was stolen in January of this year. So, Munikichi, what exactly was on the flash drive? Well, Gracie, we determined there were 2,595 both living and deceased individuals whose information was on that flash drive. Names, birth dates, and even some social security numbers were compromised. Uh, did the flash drive contain any personal information with the living and deceased? Did it have people's security numbers? Or? Yes, and unfortunately, of those individuals, 1,539 of them had Medicaid information taken as well. What else was on the flash drive? Um, social security numbers, names, addresses, and although the laptop was encrypted, the flash drive did contain protective health information. Back to you, Grace. Free credit monitoring is being offered to the people whose social security numbers or Medicaid numbers were compromised. Next, we have some opinions being shown about the Affordable Care Act. Let's check it out. I'm here with Dr. Sidney Paul Smith III, a dermatologist, who would like to share his opinions about the Affordable Health Care Act that has just been passed. What are your views about the Affordable Health Care Act? Well, I think we're all in agreement that uh, something needs to be done with health care. Um, but unfortunately, we've not passed anything that's affordable, nor have we passed health care. Uh, everybody assumes when they say health care that they're going to get the care they need for the diseases they have. But it turns out that uh, that's not quite what's being offered. It's almost a bait and switch. You would think that everything would be covered, but you've got to read the fine lines. It's really not what we thought it would be. It, if, we, if it was what we thought it would be, then why has it had to be appealed or, re, or modified 40 some odd times? It makes me think that perhaps we didn't know what we were doing when we first passed it. Wow, back to you, Sadie. Kathleen Sibelius has a day off today. This was the only time we got to interview here. So, without further ado, Bob. Actually, Kathleen couldn't be with us today. An accident has occurred elsewhere and she had to be present. Back to you, Sadie. Well, that's unfortunate that Kathleen couldn't be with us today. Thank you for listening. This has been HHS News. Have a good night.